Online trading, whether that's stock trading, crypto trading, futures trading, options trading, I'm telling you is the best video game ever created. So if you're somebody that loves to play video games, then I want you to consider online trading. But let me be very clear right up front. When I say the best video game, it's not actually a video game in the sense of there are no reset buttons. So it's not like, oh, I lost reset. So it does involve money. It involves real money in the sense of, you know, if you're not smart, then this is a video, a video game that can lose you money. But on the flip side of that, it's also a video game that can also make you good solid money. And I got this idea from basically somebody that was asking me questions down in the YouTube comment section. And I, it, it kind of spread on, okay, basically they're, they're asking how the markets work, but I want to kind of rearrange this in a way to really illustrate why the markets, and again, I'm not talking about necessarily the stock market, I'm talking about the cryptocurrency market, the, the options market, the Forex market, any of those markets really is like a video game with the online features. And I mean, it is the ultimate game that exists because you got to put your money where your mouth is. And uh, you know, it's easy to talk trash, you know, and you know, Call of Duty, for example. But in this market, you can talk trash, but there are, uh, you know, real life consequences or real life rewards uh, to your ability to, you know, to play this game. Now, before I get to this comment and all of this, real quick, if you're interested in a shirt, claytrader.com forward slash gear, check out the merchandise there, sizes for everybody. So it's definitely check that stuff out. So let's get to the comment here. And again, I'm just gonna go through it. And what I have on the board is basically what this person's saying, but I just wanna offer a little bit of context here. So uh, Sean here says, okay, let's say that Apple stock goes to $1,000. So we have, uh, as he describes here, person A. So person A has a share, and I, I did throw in this number here, but let's just say person A bought this for $500. And then per Ashan's question, it goes to $1,000. Then he says, okay, so at that level, he wants to sell. So person A wants to sell what's known as a share, right? You buy a share of a company, and they wanna sell it for $1,000. Again, they bought it at 500, but now they're trying to sell it for $1,000. And up here, you have person B. And they're looking at this and saying, okay, do I wanna buy this for $1,000? And in this scenario, person B says, yes, I do wanna buy. So person A, what they bought at 500, sells to person B for $1,000. So a, a nice gain for person A. But then this person carries on and says, okay, well, let's say that person B wants to now sell what they bought for a thousand, but they want to sell it for $2,000 and you have person C come along. The question becomes, okay, and this person says, okay, well, why would person B be buying, right? So if person B is buying for a thousand, as you can see down there in that secondary comment, then why is person B buying the stock? And the reason for that, and, and maybe you know the answer, and if you do, then fantastic. You're already figuring out how this game actually works is, well, if person B is buying for a thousand, then they think, they believe that there is somebody else out there in this scenario, person C, that will be willing to buy for a higher price. And in this person's example, at $2,000. But this right here is where the fun part comes in. Because as traders, as investors, whether you're day trading or swing trading, our job is trying to figure out that right there. Meaning, how is person C going to answer? Are they gonna answer, yes, I will buy? Or are they gonna answer, nope, not interested? Because if they're not interested and there's nobody to buy what you, uh, if there's nobody to purchase what you bought at a lower price, well then guess what? You can't sell it. And that means that you're at a very big risk of potentially losing money. But that's, that's the fun part, right? Is that's what trading is all about. It's all about how is person C going to answer the question, hey, do you want to purchase this from me at XYZ price? Again, in this situation, $2,000. If person C says yes, well then, hey, guess what? Person B made a very good decision in buying at $1,000. Do you know who kind of made a bad decision? Well, person A, because if person A had just waited and waited, well then person C would have come along and been willing to buy it from them from 2,000 instead of 1,000. Now person A still obviously did, they did fine because they bought for 500 and sold for 1,000. But I mean, can you imagine had they just been a little bit more patient and then person C comes along, wow, they could have made that much more. So in this situation, A, person B made a good decision if they answer yes. But on the flip side, 
If person C is like, no, 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 don't care. Well, then guess what? That's not happening. And person B is sitting here saying, uh-oh. I, I thought somebody was gonna be willing to buy it at a higher price than what I purchased it for. Well, guess they chose wrong. They did not read person C properly. If they thought person C was gonna say, yep, I'll buy. And then person C says, nope, uh-oh. So that brings up the question, okay, well, I mean, how do you determine? Where is this all coming from here? Like, how are you trying to figure out, what can you do to figure out how person C is going to answer? And that is where the world opens up. There are so many analysis techniques, opinions, you have fundamental analysis, you have technical analysis, you have combinations, you have, as far as the eye can see, strategies, theories, metrics, all sorts of stuff, right? But this is the fun, right? This is where the, this is where the challenge comes into play, but you have all sorts of stuff on figuring out how is person C gonna answer with a yes or a no? And that's at the core how the markets work, is you are purchasing from somebody and the only reason you're purchasing is because you believe that somebody else out there is gonna be willing to buy it from you for more than you purchase. And if they don't, whoops, you thought wrong in that situation, that's gonna be a losing. That's gonna be a, you know, a losing investment, a losing trade to use some of the terminology. But if you're right and you're like, ha yeah, I figured, I figured if I bought it at this price, there would be somebody else, you know, person C would come along and uh, you know, be able to willing to buy it from me. Then guess what? You made a good decision and now you are making money. And that is how the video game of online trading works. Is how good are you at reading other people in the sense of, do you think other people will eventually be able to, you know, be willing to buy it for more than what you paid for it? So Asan, hopefully this answers your question. Hopefully this kind of maps it out. Hopefully this kind of points out that there are risks that are involved. Because if this if person C says no, whoops on your part. If they say yes, then good job on your part. But that's at the core. Now, of course, there's more that goes into it. But at the core foundation, how do the markets work? How does online trading work? How do you make money? How do you lose money? I mean, that's how it's all illustrated just like that. So if you want a true challenge, if you want what I would argue is the best video game of, you know, the best, I should say, online video game, then definitely consider learning about online trading. It can be a, a great full-time thing. It could be a side hustle, uh, but there's a lot of potential. But of course, there is a lot of risk too, because if you just go out there and start randomly doing stuff, then you're gonna come across a lot of situations where person C is like, nope, nope. Nope, and then you're gonna to start to lose a whole bunch of money. So you have to take this game seriously. Again, there is no reset button, but if you do take it seriously, if you're an ambitious person, if you're someone that likes the challenge and you like the challenge of, wow, I really like that. I really like trying to, I, I like the idea of me having to figure out whether or not person C is gonna say yes or no, then yeah, you definitely need to consider and learn more about online trading. So hopefully you check out my channel. There's a whole lot more videos that revolve around this topic in more detail. And you know, I'd love to help you out. So any sort of comments, questions, leave those down below. And uh, you know, I'd be more than willing to help you out. And again, if you want to support the channel, then grab yourself a t-shirt, claytrader.com forward slash gear. And uh, you can go in and, and see what we have to offer at that link. So again, if you're an online gamer, if you like a challenge, you're an ambitious person, you got to check out online trading. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.